To the Auditor General again, I've referenced multiple First Nations in our region, Tatasquiat Cree Nation, Shamatawa First Nation, Red Sucker Lake, York Factory, Garden Hill, and that's in our riding alone. This repeats itself across the country, and it shouldn't have to be this way. It's something we regularly hear from this government, but what the AG report, what your report made clear, is that this government hasn't done the work, not just last summer, but we're talking over a number of years. Now, the government won't give us a deadline of when their commitment to end clean drinking water advisories for First Nations uh, by March of 21st will be complete. The briefing notes sent quite late this morning mentioned uh, that, uh, that you believe that long-term solutions for some communities won't be in place till at least 2025. This is an unacceptable failure by Indigenous Services Canada and this Liberal government, but they haven't been willing to give an actual timeline. In your opinion, did this year's budget deal with the lack of funding to solve the problem, or was it just more empty words from this government? Um, I was very happy to see a renewed commitment for additional um, operating and maintenance funding um, in uh, the fall economic statement and in the budget. Uh, but as I mentioned in my opening remarks, it is difficult to know uh, whether that funding will be sufficient in, in our view until the funding formula uh, updates have been addressed and taken care of. Um, it, it shouldn't just factor in what, what the funding formula believes now is the right funding for each First Nation. It should consider advances in technology um, and, and other factors and also ensure that um, operator uh, salaries can be addressed in that bucket. So I think until that funding formula is addressed, it, it is difficult to know whether it will be sufficient.